Hey guys, Jason Lanier here. I am here at Crater Lake National Park, which is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do a test for you guys. I get a lot of requests to compare the A7R2 to the A9. And so we're going to do resolution test. It's a beautiful backdrop. I can't think of a more beautiful place for me to do this. And I'm going to do them with these two lenses, the 16 to 35 F4 and the 70 to 200 G Master. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I've used Squarespace for years for my own website. You can do a blog on it. You can do lots of really cool stuff on it. And I think it's perfect for photographers. If you guys go to squarespace.com slash Lanier, you can save 10% off your order and get a free 14-day trial. So check it out, guys. I only have one monopod with me that's recording me right now on the A7S II. And so I'm going to find a way to put these on the monopod, maybe set the camera in the snow or on my backpack and record me uh, shooting this, but I want to make sure that I put these at the same spot, same location and everything else so the tests are equal. I'm going to shoot these with the 1635, this is the F4 Sony Zeiss, not the G Master. Then I'm going to put on the 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master and shoot it at 70 and probably just go all the way out to 200, maybe do something in between. I'm very blessed that I get to own this gear and hopefully, you know, it helps other folks out there make more informed decisions uh, a lot of folks can only get one body and I, I understand that because that was the case for me for a very long time so uh, I want to help you make the right decision on which body you should purchase uh, when the A9 came out I said hey I'd still probably choose an A7R2 for landscape and architecture that kind of stuff and now we're gonna find out I fully expect the A7R2 to win this we don't have too much light left before it dips behind the horizon there so I want to hurry get some shots and share them with you all of these shots are going to be edited the same in Lightroom, just going to sync process them over uh, so there'll be no changes in how they're edited, brightness, exposure, whatever else. I'm going to shoot these at the same settings on the camera, on both cameras, and I'm going to shoot these at auto white balance to see if one just has different colors than the other. My son Michael has joined me to help me with this shoot. He's going to help me holding cameras and such. I'm going to put the uh, A7S II right here on the backpack. So guys, this first set's going to be with the A7R2 1635 Sony Zeiss. Now you're going to see my shadow in the shot. I promised my wife for the video to not go past this rope. So normally I'd get past the rope and move to the side to get a shadow. I get further down there, but to be a responsible YouTuber, I'm not. So anyway, so here is, here's at 16. I hate my shadow in the shot at 16, but it is what it is. I'm going to zoom all the way into 35. All right, bring me the A9, Michael. Let's do it. Hold the second. 12 50th of a second, f5.6 is what I shot it at. This is at 35. Yeah, it is. Isn't it beautiful? Whoa. That's now we'll test the 70 to 200 on that camera. Give me the camera, buddy. Okay, hold this. Go back to the A7R2. 70. Okay. 200. Okay. Now let's switch cameras. This one's a little easier because now we can just do this. Put that on there. Twist it. Good job. Five, six, one one thousandth of a second. Okay. okay, let's go all the way to 70. Is it 70? Go to 100. Go to 200.
So I'm just gonna reel off some now, just free-handed. One, two, three. So guys, I hope this has helped. Um, you guys can let me know what you think. You can let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the results. Guys, I'm trying to do these tests to help. Um, and I, I really hope that they do. I do. I really hope that they're a benefit to you guys out there in Fedora Nation. And, uh, and I hope they're a benefit to those people who are just curious about photography. Um, lots of fun stuff. This is a beautiful place. I, I, this is the first time I've been here. It's in Oregon. It's, uh, it's in between Redding, California and um, Bend, Oregon. And uh, we're on our way, we were in Bend for five days and now we're going back down to Redding. So um, as the time goes on, you're gonna see my family more and more in my videos. I'm trying to do more of my travel with them as well as with my team, but I wanna make sure I travel with them as well. And I, my boys are the age now where they can learn photography. They can, they can help and, and assist and I'm very grateful to them for, for doing so. Thank you, Michael, for helping today. Yeah. You did an awesome job. You really did make it easier for me to do this. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to you guys for subscribing. Make sure to click on notifications for you no so you're notified every time a new video is released. And as always, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams, guys. Find a regular that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I travel all over the world. We're about to get video bombed over here. Yeah, let's go this way. Sorry. Hey, by the way, no flipping cameras for you. You have some training to do before you get to that stage. I'm tired doing it. What's like you? Yeah. I was so bad at that. Don't think about it, kiddo. No words are needed. <laughs> Just speaks for itself. You guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person guys i think there's a smudge on there Is that it? Is that it? yeah i got it talk to you later guys bye